School. I'm joined by child and adolescent psychologist, Dr. Michael Carr. Greg, good to talk to you again, Michael. Uh, it, it always concerns us so much when children are kept away from school. There's been a year of practice, if you like, so a lot of people, teachers, parents and students have had a bit of experience at home learning. But what are the pitfalls and how are children missing out? Well, there are only three really important things that children need to do developmentally, and that is to be with their friends, uh, to go to school and to emancipate from mum and dad. And unfortunately, lockdowns thwart all three of those significantly. And the psychological cost is huge. We've already seen emergency presentations for mental health shooting up. Depending on which study you look at, it's either 40% up to 76% up. Uh, Helplines are running hot. The incidences of depression, anxiety and self-harm are rocketing. So I'm afraid the uh, impact of this is yet to be seen fully, but it's not going to be good. Yeah, look, it's terribly worrying. Now, uh, there has, there's a lot of focus, naturally enough, on the academic side of it. And if you have uh, parents helping out a lot or particularly well-motivated students, of course, you can do well in remote learning. But crucially, what you're talking about is that lack of socialisation. Yeah, and look, there will be some kids who love um, home learning. I've got a few clients who just love the no distraction and love being able to concentrate and focus on what's going on. But they are the minority. Uh, I am very worried about the academic performance, particularly for Year 11 and Year 12 students, because they hate uncertainty and we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it's a hell of a worry. Now, tell us, so we've seen so much med medical advice. I've spoken to medicos around the world over the last year who talk about the minimal medical risk of the virus to children in a school setting. They say it should be the last thing we ever do is keep kids from school. Yet why do we have state governments still keeping kids away from school? Well, I think they may be enthralled to the teachers' unions. And I understand if I was a teacher, um, I probably wouldn't ex want to expose myself to the virus, which begs the question of why aren't teachers much higher up on the list of people to be vaccinated? That would make a lot of sense. Uh, the natural world of a young person is at school. That's where they should be. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Michael. I appreciate it. Thanks, sir.